Traders, we're looking at S&P 500 and many futures. Time for me is 2000 tick chart. And I'm going to be sharing you my live trading session today. Now, as a price session trader, my goal is to make sense of the market structure. And right now, the structure is very clear. We can see series of lower highs and lower lows. This is a clear downtrend. For the reason, I'm trying to identify a trend channel line because market is never without a pattern and candles are never naked. There's always some form of a pattern. And you guys can see I'm using the first couple of swings to help me identify the channel. The channel got confirmed. Now, this is important for me because as long as this channel is in play, I'm looking for short opportunities. We see that we broke the channel and then we follow the trend line rule which says after break of a channel, we expect for it to retest the new extreme, the low that was the lowest low inside of the channel, which we did. We attempted to create new low and new low was formed. So now we expect correction or possible reversal. I'm not looking to reverse the market just yet because it's been quite bearish. I expect a downtrend to eventually resume. We will see. Now, I'm looking for high probability setups and a high probability setups would be a tool like a pullback with the direction of a trend. And we actually had a lot of good setups today. This is the first leg, pullback, second leg, key entry point, second entry short. We had a repeat pattern, first entry short, second entry short. And here we had a third pattern, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. I was watching the second entry short right here, but this was exactly around the news. But this is what high probability setup looks like. And also we're looking for felt second entry longs that go against the trend. But right now we have a break and new low, so we'll see what the EMA does. All right, so the bullish correction played out because I'm drawing the trend lines even for these corrections. You can see break, new high, break, new high, up to working higher, break, new high. And right now we strongly push below EMA, which is confirming the bearish bias. And we have new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure below EMA. So this is a felt second entry long. This is very tempting. And just as I'm talking about this, it looks like it's going to create a quick scalp. Now, this would be a high probability setup if it wasn't for the congestion. You guys can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars stacked. EMA getting in the middle of these bars, it is flat. So even though I expect still continuation of the down move, why? Because uptrend played up with the break a new high and a strong push below EMA confirmed it. This was the main pattern for the day. And notice also we created new low. But we have a strong wick rejection, which a lot of times is a little bit nuanced, but this may not be counted as new low per se, because it is not candle body, it is just a long wick, mainly volatility driven. The felt second entry long looking extremely tempting, but given the congestion, I believe it is safer for me to sit on my hands. And if I look at the 2500 tick chart as well, it's even more congested there. So context wise, this is a great entry, but the behavior wise, this didn't really set up too great. But I'm going to show you guys, this is first. First entry long, pullback, second entry long, but it failed because the structure is bearish. There is no uptrend. It played out and the EMA kept holding. All right, traders, we have a second entry short forming that I'm going to take. I'm going to go for a take target profit. And we just got to feel, hold on, it's a little bit quick. I'm going to tighten my stop loss to break even. Now what I'm looking at, I see second entry short of the exponential moving average during a bearish imbalance. At the last second, I found this channel that seems to be holding off the first few swings. You guys can see double top, triple top, and it looks like it is sloping down. We keep creating a series of lower highs and lower lows. This right here is a new low, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. So even though this is quite at the lows and I wasn't really ready to sell just yet, once we take high and reverse down, everybody who went long too early, they got trapped. And when I look back and I see so many lower highs and so many lower lows, and this channel seems to be holding, you guys saw me using a limit order, a little bit back, a tick target profit was filled instantly, and right now we are holding a runner. All right, traders, so I'm going to tighten the runner one tick above the swing. And this is the last swing. We actually have a swing here, but we need to break below here. And this is how I am playing the runner contract. As you guys can see, I scalp most of my contract and I keep one contract running in case market does something unexpected. And I don't want to leave money on the table. I want to be part of this move. For that reason, I'm dividing my positions into two parts. I'm going to tighten this even more to get a couple more ticks. And anything right now that happens is just a bonus. And I'm going to be moving my target profit lower and lower. And I'm going to be trailing my stop loss one tick above each new swing that is going to form. In that case, I'm locking in the profits that market is giving me. But at the same time, I'm keeping myself open to a potential move down. So let's see what's going to happen. And this trade right here was also new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. So even though it is quite at the lows, since it is a failed second entry long, a lot of traders are going to get trapped in a bearish imbalance because if I draw 
range at these highs we have a strong bearish imbalance structure was bearish so i'm combining second entry short with the felt second entry long so two high probability setups in one and i'm going to tighten the runner even more because we just created a new swing so that would give us around 10 points this is more than enough right now so we'll see if we're going to keep pushing lower but right now i'm liking this channel and let's see if we can get to these lows of the trend channel line all right so our runner just got hit around this area which is something around 10 points so right now we have almost reached the new low at the bottom trend channel line so we have a strong correction so we'll see but the buy still remains very bearish all right so the bullish correction is fading out we have a break attempt to create new high but since the structure is still so bearish i just expect for prices to push below ema and continue the bearish bias overall but as long as we're above ema i cannot go short just yet but i'm still thinking bearish but i cannot go short prematurely you guys can see we can create the new high of the uptrend this is why i'm drawing the trend lines even for the corrections but let's see how this channel holds and let's see if we can push below ema right now it looks like we're getting pretty strong bullish momentum all right so right now we have what looks like a possible lower high but i want to see push below ema we're still bouncing above the exponential moving image and we had a nice bounce off of this trend line which was very tempting and i probably should have taken that because it confirmed the trend line nicely break two legs to new extreme quick easy scalp we didn't manage to push below ema here which was concerning because that really tells you something's going on here so we pushed higher but i'm still not going long just yet overall bias remains bearish and i'm sticking with the trend and i still expect for prices to give me first entry long second entry long failure so let's see if that happens we have a first break of the channel and we expect new extreme all right so i'm resuming the video as i'm preparing to take a felt second entry long but both of my entries are extremely doji ish doji right here doji right here and for that reason i just don't see strong momentum we're starting to go sideways i really want to see bearish bar there i want to sell below i want to see good momentum because it's supposed to be a trap and trap is supposed to trap long traders and instantly reverse down now this is not happening we triggered higher we have a second entry long but we're stalling it may still work which is going to be shame if it works without me and on a 2500 tick chart we just have lower high if we had felt second entry long on a 2500 tick chart as well i would trade it based off 2500 tick chart and we'll see now it's getting a little bit stacked don't tell me we're gonna go without me on a felt second entry long here at this point i have to cancel it and i cannot take the entry all right guys i'm quickly resuming the video is i'm going to take a lower high confirming the felt second entry long <clears throat> and we are already reaching two points so i missed the entry okay so what happened here is we had new high first entry long second entry long but you guys saw this was doji ish and we had new low form first entry short second entry short and it was also lower high compared to the felt second entry long confirming the felt second entry long and notice this is what i really like when the lower high is confirming felt second entry long but it's right close to it it is right at the ema it hasn't moved too far it is right confirming the felt second entry long. and notice how the key entry point is holding and the ema keeps holding prices overall buy is still bearish so you are able to find a trend line very early and it's coming into play the entire time you guys can see i wait for push below ema and to take the entry unfortunately you guys can see there was no take higher because there is a gap on this chart right here which means bar didn't even take higher it just gapped up lower all right so i'm resuming the video we didn't have any good short setup after this lower high and take a look what a nice runner that would have been we had a break and a new low of the short and downtrend which tells you you're probably about to tighten your runner if you're holding it right now we're correcting we're above ema we've been in this downtrend for quite a long time so it's completely natural to see market correct a little bit we cannot just go down straight you always want to sell at these highs at these corrections even though it is counterintuitive you kind of want to see the uptrend working high like that and then it gets to your point when you want to sell so we got to be careful selling at these lows definitely still thinking bearish but right now i have to respect the bullish correction i cannot deny we are correcting right now all right i've been a little bit quiet because we had a correction which was very unusual because given the fact how strong the downtrend was you wouldn't expect such a weird reversal but i have to adapt to structure i'm having even though this is very unusual I was treating a short and uptrend with the breaking new high, but it kept pushing higher, kept pushing higher, kept pushing higher. And you just have to keep extending these uptrends. So this is why it's very unusual to follow this price action. 
but this is the structure i have so right now i see a bullish uptrend i have multiple confirmation of the lows we push too far up for me to ignore this and I'm switching my bias to bullish. Prices form a tool like a pullback second inch long, but this second inch long is still very far from exponential moving average and downtrend may get new extreme. So I'm not going to take this second inch long. I would expect to get a possible double trap or additional higher low, for example. But right now, when it comes to this second inch long, even though the move is big, I cannot take it just yet. You guys can see the bigger channel got confirmed here without any higher low or felt second entry short for me to get on just one bounce here off the proven key entry point and a straight one big leg up without any pullback for me to jump on so i'm just sitting here watching this go without me and i'm awaiting a pullback for me to go long again all right traders i'm assuming the video is i'm going to take a visual two leg up pullback i'm going to chase it just a little bit just by one tick Downtrend working lower, break, new low formed, first leg down, second leg down. I'm still going to, I really like this setup, I really, really like this setup. But I can't do this no more, we already reached the scalp. This is a visual tool, I get pulled back, this is basically a double trap because we had a new high, first inch long, second inch long, that is far away from EMA, which tells me I expect for it to fail and to form double trap, EMA keeps holding price. This is the key entry point downtrend played up with the break and new low and like i mentioned two leg up pull back down the easy high probability setup uh, if you wait throughout this indecisive structure you can see that you can get a two leg up pull back that worked just enough for a scalp but you have to enter early i cannot chase it all right traders i entered a triple test i'm going to go for seven ticks because i'm using a stop order entry with one tick above the signal bar but i entered with the limit order i chased i chased it a little bit what I'm looking at, I see a triple bottom right here forming, basically a triple test, EMA keeps holding price, a nice strong bullish reversal bar. This bar looked very bearish and instantly reversed up into a bullish reversal bar. And we got out. Perfect. So I'm going to quickly tighten this because I missed this entry. And right now this is a triple test, strong support, EMA kept holding. Maybe we can get the decent runner here, but this is really the better entry. This is a little bit more experienced. But when you see triple bottom right here holding an EMA in the midline, the bias is still very bullish. This uptrend is still in play. All right, traders, so our runner just got stopped out because we reached the top of the trading range, basically. And this is my second trade, you guys. See my first trade right here. I had to sit here throughout this entire mess. And this was pretty difficult to read because such a strong bearish structure, you would expect to have at least correction before eventually reversing, but there was a straight up reversal into this odd uptrend. But it just goes to show that you just have to sit here if you're unsure because there were really not that many two like a pullbacks off the key entry point. Shortened trend lines are in play. And if eventually you're patient, there's a nice visual two like a pullback and this triple test. Now, triple test is quite advanced entry. You need to understand the context properly. This uptrend needs to get new extreme and once you see that this micro support is holding in strong uptrend and is tested again three times and the ema and the midline is coming into play it is definitely worth all right so i'm gonna wrap it up if you made it to the very end of the video that means you're probably enjoying the content so i like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one take care everybody